Hello Internet, it is Tuesday, March 27th. Welcome back to the vlog. So, how was your weekend? Mine was really good. Mine was really good. I went to Idaho for a family reunion and it was awesome. I had a really, really good time. And I know that that makes me just horrifically uncool to talk about loving the time that I get to spend with my family. Because, you know, cool people don't like their families, apparently, according to pop culture. And, you know, there are a few times when I am really glad to not be cool, but being able to talk about how much I love my family is one of them. I will gladly be the uncoolest person ever, and I just might be, uh, if it means that I get to tell you guys how much I love my family. Because I love my family, like, a lot, like, this much, which you can't see because my arm span outstretches the span of the camera. But a lot. Like, wow. And I love getting to see them, and I wish that I got to see them more often. And so, yeah, it was a good weekend. Uh, the reunion was actually smaller than I thought. You know, a bunch of my cousins had work things and other obligations and prices were too high for plane tickets and stuff. So there were only 60 of us at this one, which is small. But hopefully at the next one, we will all be able to make it and, and get to hang out all together again because it's so much fun when we all get together. I have such a good time. I love my family, you guys. I just really do. So there was that. Um, I took... 350 some odd photos while I was there and who knew that a little device like the iPhone could hold that many photos and still have enough space on it to vlog. I'm amazed by this little piece of technology right here and I really hope that now that I've said that the battery doesn't doesn't die or something else horrible. We can only hope. So moving on, family reunion, yay. Also, while I was gone, guess who got featured in the paper? Yeah, uh, a couple of months ago, my friend Angela came to me and said, hey, I have to write this thing for the Beaverton Valley Times. We're talking about local people and the cool things that they've done. It's for a section called Untold Stories, and I want to talk about you and your vlog. And I said, okay. And so we met, and she interviewed me, and she took some pictures, and then I didn't tell any of you about it because I wasn't sure if it was actually going to run. Because, you know, they always ask for more stories than they need, and so just in case I got cut, I didn't want to get anybody's hopes up. But it was published, and I have three copies of it because I just kind of happened across the issue of the newspaper when I was at Fred Meyer yesterday. Day. If you would like to get a copy of it for yourself, it is the Thursday, March 22nd edition of the Beaverton Valley Times, and it is in the section called Untold Stories. It's this, like, glossy, inserty thing, and I'm right in the middle of it, which is weird. It's weird to see myself in the paper, but also cool, and thank you, Angela, for inviting me to be a part of it. You're a very good writer. She really is, you guys. She makes me sound really smart, and, you know... A lot of you have been watching me for a while, and you know that the smart, eloquent thing, not so much my style. But she makes me sound really smart and eloquent, which is nice. So thank you for, for doing that, Angela. And, you know, I think you can order copies through the website. I don't know. Maybe. I am looking into whether or not it is legally allowable for me to scan it and post it somewhere so that you guys can see it, so you can all tell Angela what a phenomenal writer she is, because she is. And, uh, so there's that. And I'm trying to think of what else to tell you about, because I'm like, a lot has happened, and I've told you about two things. Um, my roommate is going to be moving out this next weekend. I told you about that last week. I thought that he was going to start moving while I was gone, but dates got mixed up. So he is still here, and that's great, because I like my roommate, and I am looking forward to being roommate-less, but not because I don't like him. It's just because I'm ready for my own space, and I really, I want to clean all the things, but I don't want to clean all the things when they're just going to get messed up again, so... Yeah. Um, and that's it, I think. If I think of anything else, I'll just vlog about it on Thursday. Thank you, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it, and have a great rest of your Tuesday night, everybody. See you in a couple of days.